Hi, everybody, and thank you for joining us for our midweek prayer. I hope that you had a great Labor Day weekend. For many of us, this week marks the start of a season filled with transition and new beginnings. Parents are sending their kids back to school. People who work are returning to the office, and those who've been traveling all summer are returning home to catch up with friends and family they haven't seen for a while. Our Jewish brothers and sisters this week are celebrating Rosh Hashanah, which is the Jewish New Year. And I thought in this season of new beginnings and transitions for all of us, it would be great to do Electio Divina with a Rosh Hashanah scripture. So we'll be reading from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 31. The passage I want to read for you today is a word of hope that Jeremiah and God offer the Hebrew people who are living in exile. So before this passage takes place in the Bible, the Hebrew people had been shipped off from Israel to Babylon. They're living in a foreign country in a strange place, and everything feels unfamiliar and uncomfortable to them. Their normal way of life has been disrupted. They have been separated from people they love and care about and been unable to visit with them. They're not able to practice their religion the way they want to, and so many of the parts of life they considered normal are missing. And into that strangeness and loneliness and sadness, God offers them a word of hope that things are going to get better. Things will be normal again. There will be a time when you can sing and dance and celebrate on the horizon. For me, those words really resonated, and I hope they resonate for you too as well. I'm going to read a few verses from this passage for you as Electio Divina. The first time I read them, I want you to just listen to the passage as a whole and take it in. The second time, listen for a word or a phrase that stands out to you. We'll have a minute of silence after the second reading, and I want you to hold on to that word or phrase and offer it to God in prayer. Listen for what God might be saying to you in the silence. What is God's prayer for you? I'll bring our time of silence to a close by reading the passage a third time, and then we'll share a final prayer. So let's hear this from Jeremiah chapter 31. At that time, says the Lord, I will be the God of all the families of Israel, and they shall be my people. Thus says the Lord, the people who survived the sword found grace in the wilderness. When Israel sought for rest, the Lord appeared to him from far away. I have loved you with an everlasting love. Therefore, I have continued my faithfulness to you. Again, I will build you and you shall be built. O virgin Israel, again, you shall take your tambourines and go forth in the dance of the merrymakers. Again, you shall plant vineyards on the mountains of Samaria. The planters shall plant and shall enjoy fruit. For there shall be a day when sentinels will call in the hill country of Ephraim. Come, let us go up to Zion, to the house of our Lord. Again. At that time, says the Lord, I will be the God of all the families of Israel, and they shall be my people. Thus says the Lord, the people who survived the sword found grace in the wilderness. When Israel sought for rest, the Lord appeared to him from far away. I have loved you with an everlasting love. Therefore, I have continued my faithfulness to you. Again, I will build you and you shall be built. O virgin Israel, again you shall take your tambourines and go forth in the dance of the merrymakers. Again you shall plant vineyards on the mountains of Samaria. The planters shall plant and shall enjoy fruit. For there shall be a day when sentinels will call in the hill country of Ephraim. Come, let us go up to Zion, to the house of the Lord. Let's reflect on this scripture together in a moment of silence.
At that time, says the Lord, I will be the God of all the families of Israel, and they shall be my people. Thus says the Lord, the people who survived the sword found grace in the wilderness. When Israel sought for rest, the Lord appeared to him from far away. I have loved you with an everlasting love. Therefore, I have continued my faithfulness to you. Again, I will build you, and you shall be built. O virgin Israel, again you shall take your tambourines and go forth in the dance of merrymakers. Again, you shall plant vineyards on the mountains of Samaria. The planters shall plant and shall enjoy the fruit. For there shall be a day when sentinels will call in the hill country of Ephraim, Come, let us go up to Zion, to the Lord our God. Let's pray. Holy God, as individuals and as a community of faith, we move through this season of transition and new beginnings with so many things on our hearts and minds. Hopes about what might be. Worries about what could happen. Questions about what we don't know. And longings for things and people we are missing. We are grateful for your faithfulness and steadfast love, which support us even in times like these. We are thankful for the support of a loving community that lifts us up and walks alongside us. And we offer you now these hopes, worries, questions, and longings, trusting that you will carry them with us and perhaps even for us. Amen. May God be with you, and may God bless you.